field assignment and I was worried about being accepted. Were you? Not at first, but then they had to. Why was that? I knew too much and I couldn't tell them why. Can you tell me? Let's just say that Marlene and I had a connection. In fact, I, I still have her doll. Why? I want to remember Marlena. You owe me on this one, Ray. Actual brain transplant. No, it's not a brain transplant. It's a memory transplant. Look, the male rat's memory resides in the brain cells. When you transfer cells from one rat to the other, his memory becomes her memory. Never make it. You have no faith. Not true. I have faith in skepticism. She's really never been through it before. She has never run this maze before. That's all him. incredible not one wrong turn so which one's the donor he's the donor I ran him through the maze until he learned it transferred the cells into her and she gets the meal you've been paying attention I was pay attention <laughs> don't be afraid Marlene I have a knife but I won't use it unless you make me and then he throws rose petals over the bodies. Five known victims, all Caucasian females, all blonde, blue-eyed, all killed in the same way, roughly two-week intervals. All single, same age range, same socioeconomic group. Five case files, five different sets of families, friends, potential witnesses, and we've yet to develop any trace of an M.O. as to how he stalks them or where he kills them. Anything new on the dumpster? The city employs 15 different independent companies. No one saw anything. We have looked at this in every possible way. Maybe there is no pattern. Maybe this guy's just an anomaly. Maybe. Well, then we're looking in the wrong place, because there's always a pattern. A serial killer profiles are unfailingly consistent in that way. Really? Who are you? Pearson, sir. 
Callan Pearson. Oh, yes. Gentlemen, meet Agent Callan Pearson. Graduated second in her class. Subsequent job performance in the 90th percentile. I'm impressed. Down any street time, Pearson? Not yet, sir. Our killer has turned five women into one of these. He's a real sweetheart. He rapes them, he strangles them, then he tosses them into a dumpster. But you can handle that, can't you? Yes, sir. I see we've all met. We have, sir. Agent Pearson was just going to pick up a locker number in a vehicle assignment from Donna at the front desk. Yes, sir. And take a look at these case files, ASAP. Welcome aboard, Pearson. Thank you. Excuse me, sir. The last thing we need is a beginner on this case, especially a woman. We have discussed this, Cargill. The Bureau wants a female point of view on this case. A serial rape murder is no way to introduce a new person to the streets. Where it is, she's a whiz. What? White-collar crime? Look, I do not want somebody inexperienced covering my back. I've been down that road before. Cargill. Lewis at University Medical Center just called. They believe we've got another victim. Right on schedule. Like clockwork. Let's go. Tell Lewis to secure the hospital. I don't want anybody talking to the press. It's time to get your feet wet, huh, John? She's on the team, Cargo. Live with it. Cargo, the Rose Killer's big news. Sorry, not yet. Oh, I need something open the feet. Look, as soon as I get something, you'll be the first to know. How about it? Get the shot for me. All right, they uh, just brought her up from x-ray. Now, two obvious differences from the other victims. She was not found in a dumpster, and she is still alive. And how do we know she's one of his? Uh, the MO in forensics. She was raped. The welts on her wrist are smooth, no abrasions, a plastic cord, unknown origin, not rope, and traces of rose petals in her clothes. Why not the copycat who lost his nerve? No, the lab's already ran fluid tests. It's the rose killer's blood type. The DNA will make it official, but it's him. Count on it. Now, her name's Marlena Wells. We found her purse six blocks from where she was dumped. The lab's going over it now they're also running tests on carpet fibers found in her hair it's a major concussion at the very least he must have thought he'd killed her she's in a coma oh yeah you don't know when she'll regain consciousness did you notify the family these are the grandparents apparently that's her only family said her father died when she was five years old and her mother a few years later is there hope too soon to tell little marlena will be chained to her office computer tonight so at the tone, uh, you know what to do. Must have been recorded last night. If he heard it, he'd know where to find her. Of course he'd know where to find her. He was stalking her. Well, we'll still check on the phone records. It's unlikely that he heard it because it's unlikely that he knew her. You're dismissing that possibility out of hand? I'm not dismissing anything. I'm just playing the odds. Serial killers hardly ever victimize people that they know. It's not true. Both Cardenas in 84 and Thurman in 90 killed women they knew. Their first victims, yeah, but not their sixth. Do you mind putting that out? I'm oh, sorry. It's a filthy habit, I know. It's one of my few weaknesses. Right, what about you, Pearson? Don't you have any vices? Chocolate, Take a look at popcorn, this. sexy movies? She must have been a passionate person. You don't exactly strike me as an expert on passion. Like you are? <laughs> She's this conservative, fast-track executive, right? All right. Look at these clothes. Something in this picture doesn't fit. It's almost like a split personality. What, are you a shrink in your spare time? Do I bother you, Cargill? No, you don't bother me, Pearson. As a matter of fact, I find you rather attractive. It's your inexperience that bothers me. Hey, Bluff. I just found a car in her office parking garage. Come on, Doctor, we're out of here. Why was she the only victim he didn't kill? Maybe it was interrupted. And if he was interrupted, wouldn't somebody have come forward? Not if he had something to hide. 
Lobby security guards started leaving the building on foot through the front doors at around 9.30. Explain why her car's still in the garage. I suggest that she may have been grabbed outside. What was the guard doing? Sleeping? Going on rounds right after she left. Well, I want every square foot of the block swept by SID and canvas for possible witnesses. Find out if there were any hassle calls, uh, visitors, anybody who wouldn't leave her alone. Am I forgetting anything? Aside from who's in charge? No, I think you covered just about everything. Check all the ATMs in the area. And check the videos around 9.30. You, uh, you got something to prove? What do you mean? You better lighten up, sweetheart. You're pushing too hard. Anybody tell me? Maybe because of her promotion. No. Miss Rose was busy, but she always had time to be nice to everybody. I'm sorry, sir. There's, there's no smoking in this building. Oh, sorry. We'll keep in touch. T42, Monday, 11.43 a.m., and that one wrong turn. Another successful maze run, but that's not good enough documentation for them. Oh, it's creeping bureaucratitis. You know, these guys have no idea what this could mean. For Alzheimer's, for trauma victims, all that sensory data is still locked in the cells. And we could map the brain locations, we could access the memories, and give those people their lives back. It's not even surgery, Callie. It's one little biopsy needle. You take a few cells from one brain and another, you help them to integrate, and you record the results. But no, these guys want to see more chimps and more rats and verifying the same data just over and over again. Yeah, it's frustrating. You know, they say that no good deed goes unpunished. I don't know, I must have burned them out. I sent them too many faxes, and they just got tired of me. Do you think I'm pushy? <laughs> well, when it means something, you can push. About work, I mean. It's a new job, Callie. And they think that I'm pushing too hard. Maybe you are. I don't know. Well, you don't know what it's like out there. The world's nothing but test tubes and experiments. I have to push, Arthur, just to make people know I'm there. Maybe you don't, Callie. Maybe you just think you do. I always feel that if I can just prove myself this time, the next time will be fine. The next time is never fine. It's always the same. Today. You know, they say never an agent around with an evil one. <laughs> Beat cop found her on the street minus the cash. Spotted the bureau ID. Well, it's thoughtful of you guys to arrange a welcome home party. And guess. Your idea? No, no, I'm not that original. More good news. Hospital call with an update on Miss Wells' condition. Whoever beat her up cut off her air, starved her brain for oxygen. But she saw him. 
She's the only one who can identify him. Well, the individual cells are still alive, but they no longer function together. She's brain dead. I'm sorry. Arthur, you got a minute? Yeah, we're done. Another victim for the bureaucracy god. Arthur, what if you had the opportunity to take your research to the next level? <laughs> That's not exactly an elective process. Honey. Well, you said you're ready for human trials. And I am. The bureaucracies aren't. I want Marlena's last memories. That's totally nuts. It's a simple procedure. I just saw you do it. Well, it's also experimental, and it's risky, and there are ethical considerations. You're a staff neurosurgeon here. Technically, you're one of her doctors. You could get a tissue sample, and nobody'd think twice about it. Kelly, what part of no don't you understand? Arthur, she is dying. She's going to die without telling us a thing. Well, then we're not going to know. Look, there are no witnesses, no prints, no crime scenes. She's all we've got, and we're running out of time. Look, her last memory was that of the killer. I need to see it. Callie, there could be side effects. I'll take my chances. No. All right, so you want to be responsible for more innocent women getting killed. Cheap shot. If I can't count on you to help me, I can't count on you. Kelly? 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 Mm -hmm. How do you feel? All right. A little knocked out, I guess. Yeah. That's the versed. Give it about 30 minutes and you'll feel better. Mm -hmm. No? It's back here. Hmm? It's right on the suture. Kelly, I violated about a dozen federal regulations, about 50 I've never heard of. Nobody can know about this. It was my choice. No, it was our choice. I mean, you didn't exactly hold a gun to my head. Except for that business about not seeing me again. Arthur, I didn't mean... Yes, you did. Now, I've given you five cc's of neural growth factor to stimulate the cellular integration. But this... It's important. You have to take these three times a day. This is cyclosporine. It's an immunosuppressant. And it will stop your body from rejecting the transplant. If you don't, your body will fight the new cells. And the cerebrum is no place for an infection. When do you think it'll start to work? Well, if it'll start to work. Nobody knows, Kelly. We're rolling the dice here. Yeah. All right. We found no witnesses to anything unusual outside the building. And SID came up with nothing on the streets. We know she left on foot. So why did she leave her car in the garage? Maybe she went out, came back in, then went down to her car. Nobody saw her leave the building, and her car is still where she parked it. SID reported the car was clean. Which suggests she never made it. Could have left the building on foot. For food, maybe. No, no, no. Every restaurant on the block was closed at that hour. They also swept the car, the top two levels of the parking garage, the elevators, the stairs in the parking garage. There's nothing to indicate she was grabbed anywhere down there either. Oh, come on. She just didn't vanish into thin air. He had to grab her somewhere. He could have started stalking her earlier in the day. Anybody check the date book? Nothing important. What about carpet fibers? SID come up with anything unusual on that? Same as the other victims. Commonly used, generic, untraceable. Excuse me. Can I get some water? Take a look at the building. So is there any correlation between this location and the vicinity of the other victims? No relation to this building and the other victims. All within a 15 mile radius. Back to left guard. It's for you, line two.
Left court here. Arthur. It works. I saw pictures in my head. Her pictures. That's fantastic. What triggered it? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. Well, what were they like? I, I don't know exactly. It, it happened so quickly. Well, what did they feel like? Uh, no, I'm sorry. How do you feel? Fine. No dizziness? No disorientation? No, no. Look, I gotta go. I'll call you later. His boots behind me, the can of mace rolling down the stairs. I found it. And her memories led me to it. And when he grabbed me, her, I felt it. Is that right? Is that how it's supposed to work? I don't know, Kelly. But I mean, if the sensory impressions you're getting are that disturbing... Well, they're not exactly disturbing. They're... They're just loud. I guess I was expecting quiet little pictures in my head. You know, like home movies. I don't know if the sensations are that vivid. I mean, if you're feeling her feelings, there could be a psychological danger, and I, I don't feel good about taking that risk. Yeah, but now I know what to expect. I'll be ready for it. I'm sure they won't hit as hard. Well, your body doesn't seem to be rejecting the transplant, so we've just got to stay on top of it, all right? You have to tell me everything, and you can't hold anything back. Absolutely. Marlena Wells' prints are on it. Looks like she was jumped in the stairwell. I want a full court press on that building. Bring in of your cleanup crews, garage attendants, start pulling employment records. Look for rap sheets, sex offenders, violent behavior, anything that might fit the profile. Oh, and have building security check for frequent delivery people. Her clothes. Her clothing label should be cross-checked against building adjacent stores and dry cleaners. There could be a commonality with other victims. It's a good idea. Well, come on, people, let's do it. We're not getting any younger. Here's a question. How did you know to look down three flights of stairs for that maze? When all else fails, sometimes the best logic is illogic. That makes sense.
agent. Who are you? Uh, Jack Berlinas. Right, Miss Berlinas. Assume the position, Mr. Bellinas. Oh, no, wait a minute. I said okay. assume the position! Uh, Marlene and I, I used to stay here with her. Back right pocket, you are making a mistake. What are you doing here? I came to pick up a book. I'll just get it and I'm out of here. Could you please put that gun away? The primitive art of North America, it's right there. I got it for you. You can check the inscription. Nobody said anything about a boyfriend. Well, don't you don't you guys talk to each other? I already got questioned by a couple of your people, uh, Cargill and somebody else. Sorry about the misunderstanding. Free to go. It's nice to meet you too. <sighs> no, we gave him a key. No. Damn, cargo. Why wouldn't he tell me? Should have. You're gonna have to work around it, honey. It wasn't Bellinus' fault. I overreacted. No, oh, yeah, I know. You're not human. You're perfect. I can't afford a mistake. But there's something about him. I felt it. Or Marlena felt it. You felt it? Yeah. Yeah, when I was patting him down, I had a flash. It was like I was furious at him. Emotions from Marlena are not very likely, hon. The hippocampus stores short-term sensory experience, that's all. You mean my brain was telling me that I felt feelings that weren't really there? Something like that. Arthur, Arthur, what I felt was just as real as anything I saw or heard. Okay, maybe, but it's just not what I would have expected. Well, join the club. So, what about these feelings for the boyfriend? What about them? Attraction. Frustration, rage, all tangled up. And they must have had a pretty twisted relationship. Like ours. Am I that boring? Kelly, you are never boring. Hmm. Never. <laughs> He knew her. He called her by name. I feel so much better after a good workout. Maybe not thinner, but better. You're looking good for 30. 29. You said that last year. No, I've been subtracted since we divorced. <laughs> Do you want me to walk you down? No, I'm okay. Okay. See you, Jackie. Mr. Bellinas. Now what? I need to talk to you. Can I come in? I'm working right now. Well, so am I. Marlena Wells. Uh, 
hospital won't tell me anything. No change, they say. Is this what you do? For a living, I mean. Yeah, that's how I met Marlena. She gave me a chance with one of her company's ad campaigns back when I was a struggling artist. Just impulsive that way. I have reason to believe that the killer knew Marlena before he attacked her. You knew her, maybe you knew him too. Or maybe I'm him. Are you Mr. Bellinas? No. How do you explain this? Oh, wait, what are you doing? Is this blood? Yeah, as a matter of fact, it is. Mine. When you work with this stuff every day, you, uh, you get careless sometimes. It happens. Well, how did this happen? I was distracted. I was thinking about Marlena when I shouldn't have. Your relationship ran hot and cold, didn't it? Uh, I think that's our business. Answer the question. Yeah, sure, we fought sometimes. I mean, we're, we're fire signs, you know? When it's, when it's good, it's great. When it's bad, it's not so great. But she was angry. Hey, who told you that? You argued here in this room. She, she felt angry. Betrayed. Okay, how do you know this? You got a phone? Pearson here. Okay. They found another victim over on the west side. Oh. Well, then you don't have to worry about me anymore, do you? Because I was right here with you. Assuming she was killed in the last 15 minutes. Don't make any travel plans. He's escalating. It's been less than a week since the last attack. He's got to make a mistake soon. Hey, trainer, what are you doing? I'm surprised at you. You know the rules. You're supposed to stay behind the tape. Give me a break, Cargill. I'm going live in a second here, huh? I know you guys have got work to do, but so do I. I've got an investigation to protect. Well, can at least give me something I can button the stand up with? Easy. Tell them the feds are doing a fantastic job. They will find the killer. It's just a matter of time. Peter, we're going live. This is Peter Trainer, first on the scene, first with the news, reporting live from the west side, where moments ago the body of the Rose Killer's seventh victim was found in a dumpster, leaving the U.S. Bureau of Investigation reportedly still baffled as to the identity of this city's most gruesome serial killer. Hello. Hi. Sorry I'm late. It's okay. Did they identify the body? We're working on it. Hey, you look nice. Thank you. You smell nice. Hmm. I have an idea. Come here. When all this is over, let's get away for a while. Go somewhere beautiful. Laze around or to room service. What do you say? Fool around? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Oh. Kelly, where'd you learn that? Why? You want me to stop? No. I want you to start. Mm. Kelly, 
It's a memory. It's Marlena's memory. Kelly, it's okay. It's okay. Kelly. It's okay. Kelly, come on. Come on, Kelly. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. The guy's been in and out of the building a lot over the last year or so, you know, like on deliveries or something. But when we stopped his car to check him out, he panicked and took off. I just ran his tag numbers. His name's Gray, and Jerry's moved three times in the last four months, and the geography roughly fits our Rose Killer's map. Let's check him out. Right at the location we're going in. I want you to stay here. What do you mean, stay here? I need somebody on the radio. You're it. That's an order. What time you come in the morning? Um, six, six thirty. Huh? What time you leave? Smells like red phosphorus. Knock. Stranger, United States Bureau of Investigation, we'd like to ask you a few questions. Go. <coughs> Granger? Are you Granger? Questions. Put them all down. I mean it, man. Do it. Take it easy. Do it. Okay. Okay, no problem. Get away, nice and easy. All right, let's talk. We're all gonna walk out the back together. Okay, come on. Walk. Uh, Anybody from anything funny, I swear. I'll kill him!
The next time I give you an order... Good work. Thanks. I ain't the Rose Killer, man. I'm telling you, I was in Detroit when half those killings happened. Half, huh? Well, why don't we just put you away for one? The last one. And tell me, why are you going in and out of that office building all the time? I told you. Delivering speed, man. I, I got 10, 12 customers at that location. I'll cop to the drug charges. Uh, He's too short. You, you, you want me to turn him over? Huh? Uh, uh, what, uh, wear a wire? Uh, name it. I, His voice is too high. I'm not the guy. His alibi's check. He's not our guy. Oh, no. Get him the narcotics, take him out. What do you mean by that? All right, let's go. It's too short. Can you step through here, please? Couldn't have grabbed him from behind. He's a runt. He was much taller. Except for Marlena Wells, the only people who could know that are dead. Boss, Fargo? I don't know how she does it. Pearson knew that Gradinger wasn't our killer right from the get-go. <laughs> I'm serious. The guy was too short and his voice was too high. So the guy we're looking for is bigger and he grabs his victims from behind. Now, where did she come up with this stuff? Twilight Zone. I know, she was also right about the mace. Not every luck. Uh -huh. What else? Maybe she really is tied into this killer. Maybe she's got a crystal ball. <laughs> Remember me, Agent Pearson? I remember. You heard, I suppose, that she won't be coming out of it. Yes, I heard. So full of life, and now we're making a decision about whether or not to. I have to ask you a question. And it's very important that you tell me the truth. Marlena's father abandoned her, didn't he? This really isn't the and, time, Miss Pearson. And, and there's no point in hiding it now. Marlena's father was our son, and he was a... He abandoned Marlene and her mother when she was quite young, and Marlena never forgave him for it. She never learned how to trust. She always protected herself. And she still wasn't safe. Thank you. Agent Pearson, 
Lab said the blood I found at your place didn't match any of the victims. Look how surprised I am. Well, the killer still had to be someone who knew her. Look, lady, you have got it all wrong. Marlena was the best thing that ever happened to me, and I screwed it up, all right? What happened? I pushed her too hard. I wanted to move in with her, you know, ha have a real commitment. I gave her an ultimatum, we had a big blowout. And... Oh, yeah. All that anger. I just keep thinking if we were together that night, the name. He was stalking her. He knew when he could get her alone. I've been running that tape in my head for the last two weeks. I just miss her. What went wrong? You know, supposed to be the guy who has the intimacy hang up. Marlena. I never thought I, I would be the one who needed to hear the words, but... I, and all the time we were together, she never once said, I love you. I'm sorry. Could I have one of your cigarettes? Yeah. This is Marlena's brand. I could stand them. It's just what Marlene used to do. She'd hold the smoke in her mouth and then blow it out slowly. What are you looking at, Picasso? And that's just what she used to call me. How did you know that? I didn't. An artist, Picasso? It's almost like you've got some kind of connection. Excuse me. I have to go. Well, wait a minute, what's going on here? I gave you was good, huh? You checked out, right? Like I told you. Yeah. Good. Excuse me. You recognize her? We only get about a million people in here every night. Look at the picture. Think hard. Sorry. She sat right here. A man lit her cigarette. How many times that happens in here every night? I have a surprise for you. My, my, my. <laughs> you like? Oh, Kelly. You're crippling. Mmm. Mm. I want to taste a cigarette. It's no biggie. Did Marlena smoke? I don't know. Do you know what I think? I think that Marlena's in here. 
And this is her behavior. Do you want me? You know I'm wrong. You. you really want me? Yeah, but you don't have to do anything special for me to want you. dramatic new development, the U.S. Bureau of Investigation is reportedly close to a breakthrough in the string of grisly rose killer slangs that have terrorized this city. According to sources within the Bureau, Agent Callan Pearson has developed a psychic connection with the serial rape killer. Agent Pearson has identified the killer as being a white male, average to tall in height, with a low voice. So far, this is all we have to go on. We'll keep you updated as further details come in. I'm Peter Trainer, Channel 8 News. Pearson. Callan Pearson. Don't be afraid, Callan. I have a knife, but I won't use it unless you make me. I was really beginning to think you had a future around here. Obviously, I'm an idiot. What are you talking about? I'm talking about this. According to sources within the Bureau, Agent Callan Pearson has developed a psychic connection with the serial rape killer. The phone hasn't stopped. Washington's called three times. Michaels is all over me. I'm just surprised you didn't tell this yo-yo you could bend spoons, too. Cargill, I don't know where any of this came from. Are you telling me that you didn't talk to Trainer? Absolutely not. Well, somebody did. Come on in, the door's open. Just because I smoke a couple of cigarettes and call you Picasso, you tell some reporter that I have a psychic connection with Marlena? What is the matter with you? Calm down, what are you talking about? Well, obviously Trainer got this psychic connection crap from you. I didn't talk to Trainer. I don't even know the guy. Then who did? How the hell should I know? Look, even if I did talk to one of those media jerks, what would I say to him, huh? That I think I'm going out of my mind? That I think I'm being given a, a second chance because every time I'm with you, I feel like I'm with Marlena? I can't even explain that myself. <laughs> you even act like her sometimes. Do I? Yeah, you do.
the back of a truck or a van. Huh? That's why we don't have a crime scene. He drives around in it. What are you talking about? Just listen to me, all right? I, th I think he works with telephones, with tools, wires. Um, may maybe that's how he meets. How do you know that? What's well, his way of stalking them? He listens in on their calls, their messages, and that way he, he knows where he can find them and how he can get them alone. Where the hell are you getting this information? Nowhere. It, it just hit me. What's going on here? He strangles them in the back of his van with phone cord. He would have killed Marlena Wells, too, but a trash truck came by. Trash truck? Wait a minute. The Department of Sanitation doesn't even work at night. They won't pay the overtime. They only work daylight hours. You have to follow up on this. It's important. Important enough to play a you bet your career? Because believe me, lady, that's exactly what you're doing. Just call sanitation, sir. Ask them to track down that trash truck crew. Dispatch, please. This is Agent Michaels, U.S. Bureau of Investigation. I need to talk to the crew that made a trash pickup at 8th and Flower last Monday night between 9.30 and 10 p.m. They didn't. Look, are you sure? Departmental policy. I see. Thank you very much. Well, that, that, that can't be. That can't be. I'm certain it happened. Sit down. Come on, sit down. Here's you're losing perspective on this thing. You're obsessing, you're fixating, you're seeing things that aren't even there. Yeah, first it was the guy's height, then it was his voice, then it was telephones, now it's trash trucks. You've just gotten too close to this thing. You're stressed out and you need to rest. No, I don't. You're dangerous, Pierce. Do yourself to the bureau. I'm putting you on medical leave pending a full psych evaluation. Sir, please. Look, I'm sorry. I have to ask you to surrender your weapon. This person don't make this any more difficult than what it already is. kind of side effect? I don't know. Would you get it down to pathology and ask them? They've suspended me, Arthur. I'm off the case. Oh, good, Kelly. Good? I need to talk. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Kelly, I... Look, I am so close. I can't stop now. Kelly, T-41 has died, all right? Lab animals die all the time, Arthur. Now, if one of those rats I'd injected died, we wouldn't have done this experiment. Now, this is serious. It could be something with the neural hormone factor. It could be an infection. I don't know. Until I know, this experiment is over. There could be a hundred thousand. Kelly, it's not they... negotiable. We could lose you. So what are you going to do? I'm not going to do anything. Your immune system will do it when you stop taking Arthur, these pills. Arthur, don't I, do this I should have done this days ago, Callie. This erratic behavior and all this stuff about Marlena Wells. Well, it didn't seem to bother you the other night. Callie, those could be symptoms. I want to run every test on you and make sure you're okay. Well, please, Arthur, just, just do it for me. For Marlena. I can't tell the difference between you. Look, just let me see his Kelly, face. Arthur, give not, me the pill. This is not about a serial killer. This is about an obsession. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.
Hello? Jack, this is Kellen Pearson. Hi. Uh, how are you? I was hoping you'd call. I really need to talk to you. Anytime. Do you want to come over to my place? Well, I thought maybe we could meet at the coffee shop. Well, there's a great club near here. A little music, dancing. This is strictly business. Who says we can't have fun and work at the same time? Come on, what do you say? Sure. Why not? Okay, it's called Mars. It's on the corner of Ninth and Central. I know where it is. I'll see you there in 45 minutes. Okay. Keeping your gun. Keep thinking. Minor off there? You getting all this on tape? <laughs> you bet. <laughs> How about a drink? A lovely. Let me guess. Uh, vodka Stinger? Perfect. Excuse me. Vodka Stinger, please. Thank you. So you've got pretty expensive tastes for a fed. Come a long way for an abandoned child. All right? Sure. What do you mean by that? I've never told anyone before. Tell me. My parents left me one day. My father went to work and he never came back. I was four. No, it was my fifth birthday. I'm sorry. You want to dance? Sure. This isn't too far from here. Why don't you come over for a glass of wine and we'll talk? No, I've got to go. Well, let me walk you to your car. I'm a big girl. I can walk myself.
easy. It's just me. I was hoping maybe you'd reconsider. I'm yours, Picasso. Hello, this is Callan. I can't come to the phone right now. Please leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Callie, I know you took a prescription pad. This stops it, Callie. This experiment is finished. You know, I've had it with you. I know you've manipulated me. I can't live this way, Callie. Last night. I was here in my studio. What? Are you cheating on me? What? We met with Sarah again last night. Hang on, how did you know about Admit Sarah? Admit it. What is going on here? How can you expect to make a commitment when you can't even tell me the truth? Okay, yeah, Cal, just a second. Don't touch me, Jack. I've had it with you and your damn lies. This relationship is over, Jack. Where do you get this stuff? Callan, come back. Got the scanner? Randy working tonight? Randy hasn't worked here in six months. Time sure flies when you're having fun. How you doing tonight? Things could be better. Can't be that bad. What are you drinking? Vodka stain. Stinger. Ross! Where's that drink for the lady? Hello? Arthur. Callie, where are you? Listen to me. I just reenacted a series of events that happened to Marlena. Callie, where are you? I lived them and remembered living them at the same time. It was very different from the flashbacks. Something is changing. Callie, this is very dangerous. There are no protocols. There's no human research. Look, I'm not borrowing her memory anymore. She is living inside me. Callie, I want you to meet me at the lab. I have to get a blood test and I want you to be monitored. She is trying to tell me something. Don't you understand? The only thing I understand is that you're risking your life to prove a stupid point. Callie, I... Callie! Callie! Thought you might want to hear. Pearson wasn't Peter Trainer's source. It was the maintenance guy. How do you know that? I had to lean on him a little. Really? Okay, I had to lean on him a lot. But I owed him one. Thanks for telling me. Yeah, sure.
You're the most beautiful woman in the world. Look, I never should have asked you up here. Don't say that. Robert. I love you. Stop it. Stop, Robert. Do this to me. I'm not doing anything to you. Why are you doing this to me? It was a mistake. I had a fight with my boyfriend. You said you'd love me forever. First, they love you. And then they don't. Uh. You'll be sorry. doing here? I should be asking you the same question. The killer. The Rose Killer had a one-night stand with Marlena Wells. He... He forced her to reject him so that he could validate his stalking and attacking her. I'm listening. Well, that's his M.O. with all of them. Classic idealization devaluation syndrome. What else? He's, he's about six feet tall. He, he has brown hair. And his name's Robert. You got a last name? I'm not crazy. Hey, I never said you were. As a matter of fact, I rechecked your trash truck theory. Turns out you were right. Really? Yeah. The truck you were talking about? Huh? It left at 6 a.m. Had a mechanical breakdown, didn't get back until 10 o'clock that night. I talked to the driver. He said he remembered seeing a light-colored van. Maybe uh, blue. He wasn't sure, but he definitely saw it. So what made you call them back? You did. You convinced me. Look, uh, I realize I've been pretty tough on you, but... I lost my first partner because of inexperience. My wife, Elizabeth, she died in the line of duty. She was only 35. I'm so sorry. Yeah. So, you were right about the truck? Now we better check the phone company. Well, I'm on suspension, remember? I'm not. Dr. Lefcourt. Yeah. Your pager must be screwed up. Dr. Jones sent me. She needs you in ICU. Hmm. I'll call and tell them you're on your way. Thanks. I ran a list of possibles from phone company field contractors through the DMV vehicle records. Eleven of them own light-colored vans. Of the eleven, three transferred around enough to uh, cover his range. Of the three, one died in a skydiving accident four months ago, which leaves us two names, an Erwin Strick and a Robert Betso. Robert, did Betso service phones in Marlena Wells' place? Yeah. He's the guy. I want a SWAT team in the garage ready to go in five minutes. We're out of here. Arthur? 
Arthur. Arthur. Dr. Lefcourt isn't here. But I just spoke to him a little while ago. He said he was going to meet me here. I know. He got called to ICU. It's nice to have you here, Callan. I've been waiting to meet you. The way Dr. Lefcourt talks about you, I feel like I already know you. Arthur talks to you about me? I hear things, you know. What does he say? Just that you're clever and lucky. And you talk too much. Green. Clear. 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 Go, go. You seem nervous. Don't be nervous, Callan. I should call Arthur. Where'd you say he was? I didn't. The phone doesn't work. That's not a good sign, is it? Are you really psychic, Cal? Do you know what's gonna happen to you? you make me. You've got a problem, Robert. Killing women isn't gonna solve it. You're the one with the problem, don't you think? Here we go. Alan, if you need to reach me, I'll be at Dr. Leftcourt's lab. All right, let's move. There's nowhere to hide, Callan. There's no escape for you. The fear is the truth, Callan. Women lie, but not to fear. Fear exposes them for who they really are. There's nowhere to run, Callan. Nowhere to hide.
Hi, where is it? Hey, I'm left, of course. A trash truck that time of night must have been quite the surprise. You panicked. And knocked her unconscious, but you blew it, Robert. You blew it because she wasn't afraid anymore. You were. No. Do you think she has a chance? Why not? Because he's killed six women. trainer live at the scene where moments ago the suspect believed to be the rose killer succumbed to wounds as a result of some kind of confrontation with usbi agent callan pearson she's coming out of the building now uh, we're live and exclusive with agent callan pearson agent pearson is it true you saw this case through a psychic connection you really believe that crap That's it. That's enough. so agent pearson how did you know it was him woman's intuition i knew you'd say that get out of here Kelly, we got a lot to talk about. I know. Over a long weekend. And which one of you am I talking to? Me. Goodbye. 
Sorry I can't change things for you. But I hope you know that he can't hurt anybody else. We got him. You and I. Your memories are your own again. Thank you, Amina. Time. I only married eight months. Longer than us. When she begins to uncover her husband's mysterious past. A lot of people swear that Mary's death wasn't an accident. On the check, that was the whole truth. She faces a dilemma that could turn deadly. I don't know if you're the man I fell in love with. Or, or if I'm what? A murderer? Billy Moses, Desperate Housewives Marsha Cross, <gasps> Living in Fear. Coming up next. As to how he stalks him or where he kills him. Anything new on the dumpster? The city employs 15 different independent companies. No one saw anything. We have looked at this in every possible way. Maybe there is no pattern. Maybe this guy's just an anomaly. Maybe. Well, then we're looking in the wrong place because there's always a pattern. A serial killer profiles are unfailingly consistent in that way. Really? Who are you? Pearson, sir. Callan Pearson. Oh, yes. Gentlemen, meet Agent Callan Pearson. Graduated second in her class. Subsequent job performance in the 90th percentile. I'm impressed. Down any street time, Pearson? Not yet, sir. Our killer has turned five women into one of these. He's a real sweetheart. He rapes them, he strangles them, then he tosses them into a dumpster. But you can handle that, can't you? Yes, sir. I see we've all met. We have, sir. Agent Pearson was just going to pick up a locker number in a vehicle assignment from Donna at the front desk. Yes, sir. And take a look at these case files, ASAP. Welcome aboard, Pearson. Thank you. Excuse me, sir. The last thing we need is a beginner on this case, especially a woman. We have discussed this, Cargill. The Bureau wants a female point of view on this case. A serial rape murder is no way to introduce a new person to the streets. Where it is, she's a whiz. What? White collar crime? Look, I do not want somebody inexperienced covering my back. I've been down that road before. Cargill. Lewis at University Medical Center just called. They believe we've got another victim. Right on schedule. Like clockwork. Let's go. Tell Lewis to secure the hospital. I don't want anybody talking to the press. It's time to get your feet wet, huh, John? She's on the team, Cargo. Live with it. field assignment and I was worried about being accepted. Were you? Not at first, but then they had to. Why was that? I knew too much and I couldn't tell them why. Can you tell me? Let's just say that Marlene and I had a connection. In fact, I, I still have her doll. Why? I want to remember Marlena. Owe me on this one, Ray.
an actual brain transplant. No, it's not a brain transplant. It's a memory transplant. Look, the male rat's memory resides in the brain cells. When you transfer cells from one rat to the other, his memory becomes her memory. Never make it. You have no faith. Not true. I have faith and skepticism. Open the feet. Look, as soon as I get something, you'll be the first to know. How about it? Get shot for me. All right, they uh, just brought her up from x-ray. Now, two obvious differences from the other victims. She was not found in a dumpster, and she is still alive. And how do we know she's one of his? Uh, the MO in forensics. She was raped. The welts on her wrist are smooth, no abrasions, a plastic cord, unknown origin, not rope, and traces of rose petals in her clothes. Why not a copycat who lost his nerve? No, the lab's already ran fluid tests. It's the rose killer's blood type. The DNA will make it official, but it's him. Count on it. Now, her name's Marlena Wells. We found her purse six blocks from where she was dumped. The lab's going over it now. They're also running tests on carpet fibers found in her hair. It's a major concussion at the very least. He must have thought he'd killed her. She's in a coma. Oh, yeah. You don't know when she'll regain consciousness. Did you notify the family? These are the grandparents. Apparently, that's her only family. Said her father died when she was five years old and her mother a few years later. Is there hope? Too soon to tell. Little Marlena will be chained to her office computer tonight. So at the tone, uh, you know what to do. Must have been recorded last night. If he heard it, he'd know where to find her. Of course he'd know where to find her. He was stalking her. Well, we'll still check on the phone records. It's unlikely that he heard it because it's unlikely that he knew her. You're dismissing that possibility out of hand? I'm not dismissing anything. I'm just playing the odds. Serial killers hardly ever victimize people that they know. It's not true. Both Cardenas in 84 and Thurman in 90 killed women they knew. Their first victims, yeah, but not their sixth. Do you mind putting that out? I'm oh, sorry. It's a filthy habit, I know. It's one of my few weaknesses. What about you, Pearson? Don't you have any vices? Chocolate, popcorn, sexy movies? She must have been a passionate person. You don't exactly strike me as an expert on passion. Like you are. <laughs> She's this conservative, fast-track executive, right? Right. Look at these clothes. Something in this picture doesn't fit. It's almost like a split personality. What, are you a shrink in your spare time? Do I bother you, Cargill? No, you don't bother me, Pearson. As a matter of fact, I find you rather attractive. It's your inexperience that bothers me. Hey, Bluff. I just found your car in her office parking garage. Come on, Doctor, we're out of here. Why was she the only victim he didn't kill? Maybe it was interrupted. If he was interrupted, wouldn't somebody have come forward? Not if he had something to hide. Lobby security guards saw her leave the building on foot through the front doors at around 9.30. Which would explain why her car's still in the garage. I suggest that she may have been grabbed outside. What was the guard doing, sleeping? Going on rounds right after she left. Well, I want every square foot of the block swept by SID and canvas for possible witnesses. Find out if there were any hassle calls, uh, visitors, anybody who wouldn't leave her alone. Am I forgetting anything? Aside from who's in charge? No, I think you covered just about everything. Check all the ATMs in the area. And check the videos around 9.30. You, uh... You got something to prove? What do you mean? You gotta lighten up, sweetheart. You're pushing too hard. Anybody jealous of her? Why not? You mean because of her promotion? No. Miss Rose was busy, but she always said time to be nice to everybody. I'm sorry, sir. There's, there's no smoking in this building. Oh, sorry. Yeah. We'll keep in touch. Rat. 
T42 Monday, 11.43 a.m., and that one wrong turn. Another successful maze run, but that's not good enough documentation for them. Oh, it's creeping bureaucratitis. You know, these guys have no idea what this could mean. For Alzheimer's, for trauma victims, all that sensory data is still locked in the cells. And we could map the brain locations, we could access the memories. She's really never been through it before. She has never run this maze before. That's all him. This is incredible. Not one wrong turn. So which one's the donor? He's the donor. I ran him through the maze until he learned it. Transferred the cells into her. And she gets the mail. You've been paying attention. I always pay attention. <laughs> Don't be afraid, Marlena. I have a knife, but I won't use it unless you make me. And then he throws rose petals over the bodies. Five known victims, all Caucasian females, all blonde, blue-eyed, all killed in the same way, roughly two-week intervals. All single, same age range, same socioeconomic group. Five case files, five different sets of families, friends, potential witnesses, and we've yet to develop any trace of an M.I.